Hey second graders, I want to talk to you about how to use your fact triangles. So your fact triangles are going to be, probably hold them the right way up, a great way to practice addition and subtraction. So you can use just one fact triangle to practice both addition and subtraction. Now you can use these just by yourself or you can use them with somebody at home. So you can almost think of them like a flash card to practice your addition and subtraction facts. If you remember, a fact triangle has related addition and subtraction facts that are part of a fact family. So for example, we have this fact triangle right here, right? And we have the number seven, two, and five. Now, we know that the number at the top that's near the black dot, that is always going to be the sum or the total of the two addition problems. It's also going to start off our two subtraction problems. And these are going to always be the only three numbers that we use when we write out our related facts inside of our fact family. So, if you are going to practice your addition facts for a fact triangle, you would cover up the number at the top. And you would say to yourself, 2 plus 5 equals 7. And 5 plus 2 equals 7. And if you were going to practice the subtraction facts, you would cover up one of the corner numbers because the number at the top starts off one of the subtraction problems. So you say seven minus, sorry, I'm not very good at doing this when I'm looking, <laughs> seven minus five, and that equals, and this is what I want you to do when you're practicing your um, fact triangles. I want you to work on different subtraction strategies. Seven minus five. Seven and five. Those numbers that I'm subtracting, those are really close together. Five to seven. I can count up. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Seven minus five, two. Yes. Or if you covered up this number and you said seven minus two, you can practice the counting back strategy because the number that you're counting back is small. Two is a small number, seven, six, five. Yes, yes. So you can use the fact triangles by yourself to, to do it that way. Let me make sure I'm holding this up. Oh, and you might um, cover the number up at the top right away. So before you can see it, you see six and four, you say to yourself, oh, six and four, I know that that makes a 10. That's a combination of 10 fact. Or you can practice with somebody at home where they might uh, have these and shuffle them up and then they might cover up a number and then they might read a subtraction fact to you and they might say, okay, 11 minus 2 equals, and then you'll think to yourself, mm, 11 minus 2, minus 2. That's a small number. I'm just going to count back two numbers from 11. 11, 10, 9. And you'll say 11 minus 2 equals 9. That's right. So somebody at home can help you practice subtraction facts or addition facts like that. Or they can cover up the top number. Three and four make seven. You can use a um, doubles fact to help you with that. You know, three plus three equals six. Three plus four is one more, and that equals seven. So I want you to use different strategies like that to practice your facts with these fact triangles. This is something that you can practice at home. You can work on it by yourself to work on different um, subtraction strategies, counting up, counting back, minus one, minus zero, think addition, um, and then even with um, addition facts as well, recognizing doubles, 
uh, recognizing combination of 10 facts, okay? Um, and then using like near doubles as well to help you solve those facts. So you can do this with somebody, you can do it by yourself, but this is a great way to use your fact triangles to help you practice all of these strategies and help you get really good at knowing different addition facts and subtraction facts and being able to solve them with different strategies.